On this next video clip, I want to talk a little bit about how to create a finale. What I'll do oftentimes, I call it the upside down Christmas tree. I'll start with the least amount of product up front. And you can start with 500 gram, it doesn't have to be a 200 gram cake. Um, but I'll do, you know, as far as rolls, I'll put one or four up front. Just make sure the next row you'll have more, like an upside down Christmas tree. Um, I'll take the wick, I'll run it side to side. And so you get to the second row, you can walk, run it the next, run it that way, run it this way. There's many different ways you can do it. Like I said, I use the upside down Christmas tree effect. Um, you can mix match, um, you know, 200 gram in the middle, up front. It'll give you different levels of your finale. One thing I do make sure I do is I always put my three inches in the middle. The reason I do this is because the three inches have a slower fat, uh, burning fuse in the middle of it. But oftentimes when that finale gets done and you have your three inches in the back, you'll have one slow going up. It'll, it'll ruin your, the effect of your finale. So again, to kind of touch base, I do the upside down Christmas tree. I put, you can put one up front, put three up front. Just make sure that whatever, how many rows you go back, those rows keep getting bigger and bigger.